Hi, I'm Kate from Daily Tarot Girl, and welcome to my tarot card meanings deep dive series. So in each video, I dive deeply into one major arcana card, and we're getting near the end. I started with the Fool, and I've been slowly working my way through the major arcana, and now we're all the way to Judgment. So in this video, we're going to be diving into the Judgment card. And I'm going to start by giving you a list of keywords. We're going to explore the symbols on this card, some of the hidden meanings. I'm going to be giving you journaling questions. And by the end of this video, you'll have a really good understanding of what this card is all about, what it can signify when it comes up in a reading. And you're also going to have a really good understanding of how it relates to you and your life specifically. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, um, please do so if you enjoy this video. And let's dive in. So uh, one thing I want to say about the Judgment card is I feel like this is probably one of the most misunderstood cards in the tarot deck. When people see that word Judgment, I feel like they have an assumption about what this card is all about. And they get hung up on that term Judgment. and They think that this card is about being judged in some way and that is not what this card has to do with at all so i want you to just i, I almost wish that it, this card was called something different because i feel like judgment is very misleading it confuses people so i just want you to take that word judgment and just kind of put it to the side for the remainder of this video so some keywords associated with this card which represent what this card is all about is rebirth a new phase reinventing yourself or reinventing your life, starting a new chapter, rejuvenation, hearing a higher calling or an inner calling, and awakening. So we're going to explore all of that. Now some key symbols to pay attention to. Number one is, oh, and I should say, um, <laughs> the card that you're going to see on your screen is from the um, uh, universal weight tarot and I want you to look at this image of the judgment card and just have a look at what's going on here so there's a bunch of coffins and there's people popping out of those coffins and there's an angel overhead who's blowing on a trumpet so the first symbol I want to draw your attention to are the coffins the coffins represent your old limitations, maybe your old life, your old self. Just think about, um, these are probably concrete coffins because they're kind of in this graveyard, but think about the shape of a coffin. It's like a concrete box uh, or a wooden box. And judgment is all about awakening, waking up, kind of breaking free and getting out of those old, that old box, that old limitations. There's also the posture of the people on the cards. They have their arms open wide. To me, that that those outstretched arms represent, um, you know, being open to a new experience and ready to embrace the next chapter in your life. There's also the angel with the trumpet, and I see that as representing a higher calling or your soul's calling. And then there's the flag with the red. Uh, and white cross and I had to look this up because I wasn't really sure what this represented and uh, it represents a victory banner and in this case victory over death so this card has a light side and a dark side like all the major arcana cards now the light side of judgment is that it represents a time of reinvention it's a time to reinvent yourself to listen to your inner calling and to start a new chapter in your life. It's a time of discovery, of growth, and newfound freedom. So that's the bright side. The dark side is not really that dark, but the dark side of judgment is, it's this feeling of not being able to ignore your inner calling any longer. It's like you can't shove it to the side. You're feeling called and you can't ignore it. Or, the idea that there is no turning back after you've awakened. So after you've fully woken up to something and had some kind of epiphany or awakening, there's no turning back after that point. 
So there's three key areas that I want to dive into and explore with the judgment card. And I'm just going to tell you what they are first. So we're going to be exploring this idea of rebirth, the idea of awakening, and the idea of having an inner calling or a higher calling. I'm also going to be giving you journaling questions so that you can really explore and understand these concepts on a personal level. So let's begin with talking about rebirth. So when judgment comes up, it can signify feeling inspired to reinvent yourself or reinvent your life, to take a new approach to living your life. It can represent starting a new phase or starting a new chapter in your life. And this might follow a really big event like a divorce or a death or having a health crisis or moving or starting a new job. Um, it doesn't have to, but quite often what happens is we have some big event in our life and then that kind of causes us to reevaluate things and look at life differently and it can precipitate um, this period of rebirth. I actually find that any time I move, it kind of starts this new chapter in my life and this, this period of, it's kind of like an, uh, an opportunity to kind of reinvent my life and reinvent myself. I know the biggest, um, the biggest example I can think of is when I first moved out of my parents' house and I was on my own. This really kind of precipitated a, a new chapter in my life and it was really exciting and it really allowed me to um, start to kind of shift my uh, idea of myself and who I was and what was possible. And all of a sudden, all these possibilities kind of opened up to me um, just by kind of changing my environment and changing my living space and, and the people around me. All right, so some journaling questions for you. The first one is, when was the last time you began a new chapter in your life or reinvented yourself? And if you could redesign your life or yourself, what would you do differently? And a less intimidating version of that question is if you could reinvent one area of your life, what would it be? And if you feel like sharing in the comments below, please feel free to do so. Okay, let's talk about awakening because that's another thing that the judgment card represents is waking up. I mean, if you look at this card, the people on this card are, you know, they're waking up, they're popping out of coffins, they're, they're coming back to life. So as awareness begins to dawn, as you start to wake up and rise from your spiritual slumber, you start to become more aware of who you really are and why you're here. And as your self-awareness begins to grow, you begin to awaken to your life's purpose and you start to discover new parts of yourself that maybe you didn't even know existed. That is kind of what the judgment card represents. It's this waking up, this, this new awareness, this expanded awareness. Sometimes, and again, this is kind of similar to what I, what I just said, sometimes events, um, big events in your life can kind of uh, instigate this waking up. So the end of a relationship or the beginning of a, a new relationship, uh, death or any other kind of life crisis can sometimes instigate this whole waking up process, but not always. Sometimes we just start to wake up for no particular reason at all. And awakening can happen in many different arenas. So you can have a spiritual awakening, a psychic awakening, a sexual awakening, a creative awakening. There's many different ways that you can experience an awakening. So a question I have for you is, when did you last experience an awakening? And what kind of an awakening was it? And how did that awakening change your life? And remember to be open-minded here when you're thinking about what kind of an awakening you had. It could be, again, like a spiritual awakening, creative awakening. Um, the biggest awakening that I can remember having most recently is when I was dreaming and all of a sudden I woke up in the dream and I realized that I was dreaming. 
And as I started to look at all the things around me in the dream, I realized that they all felt very, very real and very solid. And there was really no difference that I could tell between my dreaming reality and my waking reality. And that was a, wake, a waking up moment where I started to become more aware of things and it completely changed my life and how I perceive reality. Because then once I woke up and started participating in life in the, the real waking world, and I realized that things in the waking world felt just as solid and real as in my dream. And so when I realized I couldn't really tell the difference between the two, I thought, well, maybe my waking reality and what I call reality is not as solid and not as real as I think it is. And so that was a big shift for me. All right, so let's talk about inner calling and higher calling or your soul's calling. So at certain times in your life, you will feel called to take a particular path, to go in a particular direction, to make particular choices, or learn certain things, or take certain actions, or make certain changes. And these can be really big, like you may feel called to quit your job, or you may feel called to um, move to a new place, or to have a child. Or they can be really small, like a few months ago, I just felt this inner calling to stop eating sugar. And I couldn't think of any specific reason other than like obvious health reasons, but I just had this calling. And it took me a few months to kind of psych myself up before I was able to take action <laughs> and actually do it. But that's an example of like a, a smaller kind of inner calling you might have. Um, you may get an inner calling to sign up for a class or to pick up a particular book or to reach out to a friend or to start a project. Um, so it might be really small and minor in nature, but end up having a really big impact down the road. Uh, all right, so hearing, being able to hear your inner calling or your higher calling really involves being able to be still and quiet and really listen to that soft voice of your intuition. It also requires that you trust that you're able to take a leap of faith and take action on your intuition and, and take action on the things that you feel called to do. We're always guided throughout our lives. Now, whether you think of it as your higher self guiding you or your expanded self or your ancestors or spirit guides or God, we're always being helped along and guided. And it's important to find a way to tune into this higher guidance so that you can really truly live an inspired life. Because any time that I have followed that calling, any time I've responded to that inner voice and those inner promptings, magical things have unfolded. So 11 years ago, I had this urge and it was very subtle. It wasn't like an overwhelming thing. It was just this very subtle calling to start a YouTube channel and just start uploading videos. And I followed that calling. I started doing it and my channel grew and it ended up um, morphing into a business, uh, you know, years down the road and it ended up becoming, you know, something that I really enjoy doing. Um, but it was because I listened to that, that inner calling. Now I can think of so many examples of times that I ignored my inner calling. Like I had a calling to start a podcast several years ago before podcasts really exploded. Now I think if I'd started a podcast at that time, I, I could be a really successful podcaster by now, who knows, but I didn't because I had a lot of stuff on the go and I was like, ah, I don't want another thing. Um, so a question I have for you about this is, when in your life have you felt a strong calling and followed it? And what happened when you did that? What do you feel called to do right now? What direction is pulling you? And if you feel like sharing in the comments below, please feel free. I'd love to know what you're feeling called to do in this moment. So the wisdom of judgment is that judgment tells us to wake up and to listen to our deep inner calling. 
Judgment tells us to shake the sleepiness and earthly distractions out of our head and pay attention to the soft, quiet voice of our soul, which is always guiding you. Doing so will allow you to discover who you are, why you're here, and it will allow you to begin a new inspired chapter in your life. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the in the comments below. And we just have one more um, major account of card to cover in this series, which is the world. And I'll be uploading that probably in the next week or two. So look out for that. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.